the oncologist, was the one who recommended for Arnold to have the home hospice care with the VNS Health Veterans Program. He was in the service from, I want to say from 66 to 68. He served in Vietnam and he made a lot of friends there. He had lost friends from there and he was glad that he was able to come back and to be with his family again. The Veterans Program team is made up of former military, veterans, as well as VA experts. Basically what I do is I, I reach out to veterans and family members who are on VNS Health, and I go over what they may be entitled to regarding VA benefits. As a veteran, um, I have lived experience. I understand the challenges that most veterans go through. So I'm able to bridge that gap and provide them with linkages to the services they need. When I'm able to connect a veteran to resources, uh, it makes me feel like I've done my job, right? I have served my purpose helping another veteran out because I know that there's community resources to take care of them and assist them through times of need. Arnold was diagnosed with prostate cancer. It was um, stage four. When he told me, I was in shock. I was devastated. It was around the time of COVID. So I did ask the question, how are we gonna do this? And they said, don't worry, we'll take care of it. They did everything possible. Nurses coming in here, teaching me how to treat him, changing him and feeding him, uh, dealing with his medications. I'm not a nurse. I had to learn all that. They were there for me. It meant the word to me that I was able to be part of, you know, the last minute, the last seconds. After Arnold's passing, I didn't know my situation financially, how it was going to be. I felt um, devastated, not able to sleep, thinking, oh, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm still carrying a mortgage by myself. That's when um, Frank came into the picture. So the first time I called Mrs. Wage, I said, well, she would be entitled to a benefit called DIC, which is a monthly stipend uh, that you would receive that's tax-free. She said, I, I never heard of it. Are you sure? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm positive. At the beginning, I felt uncomfortable. I, I said to myself, this is not going to work. And we said, okay, let's, let's start the process now. We assisted her with actually filling out the paperwork. She sent it in, and then about four to six weeks later is when she started to get the DIC, and it was actually deposited directly into her checking account. And I said, well, you, you're gonna get it the first of every month. She was just so happy that this benefit was there for her, that it was something that she never knew about. One week before Christmas every year, she always calls just to thank the VNS Health Veterans Program for what we were able to do for her. Cecilia's story is a prime example of why this program is important. The VA is very complex. There's resources, but not many know about it, but there is help. And sometimes it's a matter of just having somebody point you in the right direction. And I think at the Veterans Program, we're mindful that there are veterans who still need help, who experience substance use or have mental illness, and we try to honor them in life as much as we honor them in death. So she was very fortunate to have had Frank to guide her because it was something that's a good example of what a grateful nation offers to its veterans, being able to provide financial assistance to save her home, to maintain dignity and a quality of life. They were there for me. They took care of me. They acknowledge my, my situation. They rescue me.